So in this video, we're going to look at how we can apply the uh, how how we can approach uh, higher order uh, differential equations uh, using the methods we've developed. And specifically, we're going to look at we're going to be trying to use it, the the uh, Rangakata systems uh, that we've done the Rangakata method for systems of differential equations. Uh, let me mo let me motivate you with the idea. The basic concept comes from the fact that if we look at as an example the second order differential equation. So a second order differential equation contains the following, x, y, and, and an additional thing you see here is the y prime. So it will contain a first derivative, uh, a non-derivative term, and of course the x terms and so on. Now, it of course has uh, it two uh, conditions, uh, two initial conditions. It has the x0 equals uh, y0, and it has the y dash at um, x0, uh, okay. Also, and that's equal to, for instance, y0, let's call it um, y0 prime. It's not a derivative, but it's a constant. But anyway, so what happens here is the way to approach this is if we let, for instance, z equal, so introduce a variable z and let it be equal to y dash. This means that z prime is y double prime, right? Which means that um, the above equation now becomes, can uh, the, the double prime becomes, a single uh, single prime z and this is a function now of x y and of course the y prime is z so it becomes wherever in other words you see y prime you replace it with a z so there is no double prime left uh, in the equation and what happens is we've got now two equations y dash equals z so we've got our system now this system has the following boundary conditions or initial conditions sorry y of x0 equals y0 and z of x0 equals y0 prime. So this basically is how we uh, can take a system of differential equation, a second order differential equation and convert it to two first order equations. Now, let me show you this, this can be extended to of course, nth order differential equations. So let's, let's try to see how that works. So an on nth order differential equation, uh, order n, would be, of course, uh, some function of um, x, of course, y, y prime, y double prime, and so on up to n minus 1. So the n minus first, n minus 1th derivative. So now the way this will work is the recipe is as follows. We will start with we introduced uh, introduced new variables. Uh, let's say we introduce these z's, but it, but we need a lot more than just z itself. Uh, so we'll we'll go with indices now. Uh, or sorry, subscripts. Z1 equals y prime, and uh, z2 equals y double prime. So then and then we go up to say for instance z n minus one, which we say is equal to y uh, the n minus one derivative. Then what will happen? is of course uh, now I'm ignoring the conditions the, the the initial conditions for the time being just to give you an idea how we can reduce the system so what system will result is the following one prime would be uh, it would be of course y double prime uh, so z1 prime would be y double prime so z1 would be equal to z2 similarly z2 prime is going to be z3 which is y double prime triple prime sorry Remember, because y2, uh, z2 is y double prime. So the prime of that, the derivative of that is, is a triple dash or triple prime. So in this way, this will continue on till our n minus 1th value. Uh, the prime, the, the derivative, the first derivative of n minus z n minus 1 will in fact be uh, yn. And yn is of course uh, f of x, y, I'm sorry, uh, y, and then you'll have z1, z2, all the way up to z n minus one, and don't forget that the the these these are n minus one differential equations. The one that you need to keep in mind is the y dash equals z one, where it starts from. So then these all account for n first order ODEs. Okay, so. This this way we can actually take any system of differential equations and convert them to a system of first order differential equations. Once they are converted to a system of first order differential equations, the Rangakata second, fourth, third, fourth, fifth, any Rangakata 
method can be then applied. So let me go through a second order differential equation and so show you how the fourth order Rangakara can be applied to that. So let's do that next. So let's look at this example. I've got a second order differential equation here, the typical general second order differential equation. So the method, as we've just outlined, uh, would require us to first start by letting uh, some uh, by letting some variable z, for instance, equals uh, e equal y dash, which would mean that z prime would then equal y double prime, which is equal to f x y, and of course the the y prime is now z. So uh, wherever you see y y dash or y prime, you should replace it with z. So now we've got a set of two equations, y dash equals z, and z prime, or z dash, equals f of x, y, z. Now, that's, that's our set of uh, equations. Now, the boundary, or the initial conditions, of course, y of x0 equals y0, and z of x0 equals z0. So that basically is our uh, system of two first order differential equations. Second order differential equations becomes a system of two first order differential equations. In a similar way, third will become a system of three, fourth a system of four, and so on. N, nth order, as we saw earlier, a system of n uh, first order equations. Now, let's apply the Rangakara uh, to this. So first of all, you're going to have the equation for yn plus 1 because you've got two first order differential equations. So you're going to have yn plus 1 equals yn plus, uh, sorry, uh, we're doing, remember we're doing fourth order Rangakara in this example. So, so that will be 1 sixth um, and k1 plus k2 plus, uh, that's 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4. And similarly for the z, that will be z plus 1, zn plus 1, sorry, equals zn plus 1 sixth. And this time I'm going to use the letter L. So we're going to have L1 plus 2L2 plus 2L3 plus L4. Okay. So um, remember that if you want to relate back to the vector idea, so what we're saying is our y dash is in fact um, y dash and z dash. Okay. And our y is in fact um, y and z. Okay, so uh, when we say, or say we say, if we want to say y n here, like this, that means y n and z n, and so on. Okay, and the k for instance, the k ones. Okay, the k one vector is going to be, of course, uh, k one and l one. Okay. The k2 vector, as you saw, is going to be k2 and l2. And similarly, okay, so there's, that's just a little key here for you to see that what, uh, to relate this back to the previous, um, the, uh, the, the vector version uh, of the Rangakara for systems. Anyway, so let's proceed. According to this now, k1 uh, that you see here, k1 will be h, f, um, x, n, y, n, and z, n, okay. Oh, sorry, pardon me. That's wrong. My apologies. Do that again. So k1 is going to be, remember, it's the equation for y. y is z. So it's just going to be h times z, n, okay, because z itself is a as a function, so we don't have any x in it, no y, so the only thing you see there is a z. It should be f of x, y, z, remember, okay? So it's just going to be h. So remember here, in our formula, uh, in, in the formula we had, that's the one we saw earlier, you would have seen the following. You would have seen that y dash, if we compare it, is supposed to be equal to y, f, x, y, z, function of... Uh, all the variables, uh, the independent and, the, and all the dependents. So in this case, the function itself is defined as z. It's z. So there is no x and there is no y. So you'll just say zn here. Okay. Um, then, of course, in a sim in the similarly, we'll have the L1. And L1 is, of course, this fxyz. So it's going to be h, f, 
xn, yn, zn, right? Um, let's move further. So k2 similarly is h into zn plus, um, and zn we add l1 to it here, remember, l1 over 2, in fact, okay? And similarly, l2 is hey, f xn, um, sorry, xn plus h, yn plus, sorry, h over 2, yn plus kl1, uh, k1, sorry, over 2, and, okay, so let's just make some space here, and, right, so k3, then, is going to be h times zn plus, uh, the next is l2 over 2, remember, okay, and l3 is h, f, xn plus h over 2, yn plus k2 over 2, oh, yeah, k2 over 2, and zn plus l2 over 2, right, remember, y and k together, z and l together, so you add the k parts to the y and the l parts to the z. Last one is k4 is equal to h into zn plus l3, and l4 is hf, xn plus h, yn plus k3, zn plus l3, okay. So that basically is the, the Runge-Kutta fourth order for this uh, particular second order differential equation.